the chief trainer chief trainer as well as uh, the uh, he is also the all in all of the horizon so we have been associated with uh, for a long time we have been associated with him so uh, you know we have a long uh, connection because uh, uh, some time back i was looking at the uh, i was looking at the uh, placement functionality and from from that time onwards we are very close regarding uh, i mean uh, training and all those things he has done and i think is that he is actually a great motivator around and uh, uh, yeah he he actually is uh, has uh, put in lot of uh, no he has trained lot of students and uh, the number of people he has molded the number of students he has molded and uh, that i thought that okay fine uh, he will be the suitable person he would be the suitable person to talk to you regarding uh, or regarding uh, values and ethics in you know in education so i am very happy to invite uh, sir to this uh, particular uh, you know particular fdp and uh, uh, particularly uh, sir will be <coughs> sir will be giving lot of inputs <coughs> which will be highly useful for you so please uh, follow his uh, uh, you know follow his lecture uh, i mean because he is having wide experience in training students uh he uh, trained students for uh, higher education placement and uh, and and such and, uh, and also he is having connection or he is connected to students also he is having a he is keeping a connection towards students they are run an organization called st horizon and uh, it is uh, it is there in uh, in ernakulam that is in kochi it is uh, situated in kochi and i am so happy that you have uh, come here and uh, i think uh, sir's uh, father also will be uh, there i am not sure whether he is also available there uh, sir also sir will be telling more about himself and uh, uh, he will be telling more about the, i mean a few things about his organization also to uh, to make you aware about this particular organization and then he will be talking about uh, i mean uh, on values that one has to follow particularly in how when teaching students you know he will be looking at uh, to uh, i mean the values that uh, has to be uh, i mean uh, uh, has has to be given to the students uh, to the senior students like you know not the children so what has to be because they are in the pre adolescent adolescent and young youth stage so how to manage them that's what uh, sir will be looking at and what are the values and all those things one has to look into so i do welcome sir welcome alex sir to this august audience thank you so sir. sir please thank you sir thanks a lot abhi sir for your good words i would say <laughs> all right um uh, i am really privileged to be with uh, all the faculty members who are participants of atal ftb you know a very prestigious event that is happening you know uh, starting from i, I think it, it has it, it has got an upper of uh, Uh, it has conducted and conducted a number of programs in and uh, around india uh, you know for uh, for past 5 years i think it, it's 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 doing well i think all right so let me please introduce myself i am uh, alex matthew i am from kochi and uh, regarding my academic profile i have completed my btech in electronics and communication engineering and mtech from i'm taking communication system that is that too from hindustan university chennai and uh, and i have been uh, in the capacity of assistant professor in an engineering college in the department of electronics and communication for uh, around 5 years and i have been in the capacity of assistant professor and after that i have established this company called t horizon the main objective of t horizon is actually to provide training for almost all the sectors of life like uh, teachers students uh, uh, employees you know corporate we do corporate training and i i am really fortunate enough uh, to train around 15000 students god's grace uh, 15000 students in and around kerala in around 120 colleges uh, so uh, we do normally we do uh, placement training uh, aptitude training attitude training obviously body language training uh, obviously parents uh, you know the training for parents uh, then uh, teachers even uh, so i think uh, training teachers is not a tough job i must say since Uh, you know everyone will be associating uh, during the training sessions you know if if we are giving out an input 
probably everyone will be catching those points and everybody everybody will be contributing a lot towards that particular point so i can see very uh, senior faces in this group so i hope that if i am if i am throwing one pro point please please everyone catch that point and uh, you know you you will have to contribute you will have to uh, join me for the interaction as well as the discussion so that the things will be very much fruitful i think uh, you know i was i was really excited i i am really excited and enchanted to see your uh, Participation, participation. Since uh, you know, I could see Jayasri Indran, uh, ma'am. You know, she, she is uh, she is quite talkative and she is quite smart and she is very chubby. You know, and she is always speaking. I, I hope that she will she will be also contributing much towards this uh, uh, you know program. And I hope that you people will be interacting through the uh, Google Meet chat. Um, and I, I think we don't have to go for uh, WhatsApp chat, right? I think you can very well be familiar. I think you will be much familiar with Google Meet chat so that you can scribble your points over there. And whenever I am raising some social, you know, whenever I am speaking about some social issue, issues or uh, something like that, do, I mean, please do post your opinion about it. And if you have any extra content, if, if you have got any extra point, you know rather uh, you know i will be giving some input and uh, after that if you really want to build some points uh, in addition to that obviously you can very well use the google meet chat you know uh, i hope that you would have done a number of hands-on training these days for the past five days i i believe that you people will be uh, do would have done a number of hands-on training like latex uh, you know academic uh, writing probably a, a number of you know technical kind of things and uh, this this training you know obviously this uh, we won't be going much serious you know we won't be going through much very much serious uh, talks or uh, much uh, serious uh, technical tools and all we'll be we'll be speaking we'll be interacting and we will be coming to a conclusion probably you know uh, you know in another you know when we are considering teachers obviously i i hope that whenever whenever i i used to give training for teachers uh, i i used to get get enough input input from uh, you know teaching community hope that you people will be also associating with me uh, and uh, t horizon regarding t horizon and still uh, i have been associated with uh, karuni institute of technology and sciences and uh, i'm doing my phd in educational technology uh, that too uh, giving uh, a priority for augmented reality virtual reality and uh, artificial intelligence so my my phd topic is actually uh, computational intelligence for uh, you know effective teach teaching learning process so i have started doing that you know uh, it's, a, it's a long you know uh, three years uh, uh, or two, two to three years i have been uh, working on that and uh, uh, i think i think I, I think i can very well club those technical details you know the technical things with uh, the soft skills too all right so uh, so i think we, we will start uh, i will share my screen right now please do comment on the chat box that whether you can see it or not please come on one second hope you could see this right somebody please turn on your mic and uh, give a reply please yes it is seen sir all right sir thank you so our topic is nothing but imparting human values in education you know whenever you really want to contribute something towards our interaction something towards the topic please do that you know, uh, you know, since you people are really, uh, you know, uh, seniors, you people have got enough experience in dealing with Alex, sir, can you yes. please go into the presentation mode, Alex, sir? It'll be here. Can you All go right, into no. presentation mode? Sure, sure, sure. I will, I will. Please. Yes, sir. Now, is it right now? Sir? No. It is not. Uh, can you see the PPT right now, sir? You, you have not shared your entire screen or something. That might be the reason. Please uh, share your entire screen, otherwise it won't uh, go into the presentation mode. Is that all right? Please share your entire screen. One second, sir. One second. One second. I will stop sharing this one and I will, I will, uh, uh, you know, redo it again. Yes, I think now, now it would be okay. One second, please. Yes. So now is it right? Yes. 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 It's All fine. Right, sir. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. All right. So now we are going to start imparting human values in education. You know, 
uh, when we are speaking about this, you know, why this e-learning nowadays? You know, uh, we ha I, I, I too have uh, you know done. I, I too have uh, uh, you know participated in one of the FD FDPs that has been organized by a university in Tamil Nadu. That too in augmented reality and virtual reality, you know, last week. And now uh, it's a turn of e-learning e e methods. E-learning methods that too in uh, you know the technical tools, uh, uh, the methods that a teacher should follow for uh, you know e-teaching or e-learning. Probably, uh, I think this is the result. This is mainly the result of the pandemic that we are going through. Actually, uh, so when when we are considering this pandemic, uh, uh, you know, uh, there are there are a number of negative aspects when we are considering this pandemic, this COVID nineteen scenario. But uh, when we are when we are looking into the positive sides, uh, probably we could see a number of things too there. Right. When when whenever I am speaking, whenever uh, you know, when we are dealing with uh, you know post COVID scenario or uh, the job aspects, the the things that we have to change in ourselves when we are considering the post COVID scenario, then uh, I, I always point out the or I, I always concentrate on the positive things that has happened. Obviously, you know, the past is past. Always, you know, we will have to think about the future. So uh, when we are considering uh, considering the the post COVID nineteen scenario, uh, the things have got really changed. Everything has got changed. Each and every sector has got really changed. That's why we are here attending uh, a training on uh, e-learning. Probably the thing is that when we are considering the educational sector, we can see you know the, you know it's a, it's it's just like a miracle. Just think about it. You people are from right from Jammu and Kashmir to uh, you know Kochi. I think uh, you know all through the all through the country. You know everybody is there. Everybody is there. Around one ten uh, candidates are there. Uh, you know you all belong to different states of the country and. Uh, and we all have got unified, and we all have got associated uh, uh, by means of, by by an Atel FBP, and we are sitting together. And you people are hearing me sitting in Kochi. So it's, I think it's it's a big deal. I think you know online education has uh, has uh, moved into a you know high pace thing. You know? uh, we can we cannot just we cannot just uh, speak ill about the online online education. We we will have to cope up with that scene. We will have to cope up with the uh, changes that has happened in the online education. So. Just think it positively, you know. Uh, when when we are considering online education, I I, I was just thinking about you know uh, in some colleges and in some universities, universities they have started proctoring. They have started proctoring. You know, they used to conduct online uh, exams. You know, now Avizar was actually speaking about uh, the uh, the Google Form method, and some some of the universities in Tamil Nadu and in, even Kerala, they are they are actually using the proctoring kind of method that is that to using artificial intelligence. So that when whenever we are writing the exam, we will have to be very careful where uh, whether we are moving or not. You know, sometimes the the machine itself will be uh, finding our our faults if, if we are moving our head or if we are moving if we are trying to uh, check some notebooks or something like that. They will be they you know they will be uh, catching us red-handed probably. Uh, you know, I, I was just writing an exam you know last month in Karuni Institute of Technology and Sciences and. Uh, you know, whenever I, I I'm turning my head, the computer was telling that the, that software was telling me that don't ever move, don't please do, don't try to malpractice like that. You know, I was you know getting irritated. You know, I cannot really move like that. So, uh, artificial intelligence based proctoring method has been uh, you know implemented in many of the software. So, I think uh, we are on the track. We are on the track. You know, students have got really adapted to the uh, new method. Teachers have found new methods to. Uh, mitigate the present problems of COVID-19 scenario. Or, I mean, present problem that is existing in the education system. I think it's it's going well. Obviously, I think you would have got a session on flipped learning. Probably, uh, I mean, even though the COVID-19 pandemic is is coming to an end, probably we will be moving to a flipped uh, you know type of learning. Even UGC is actually uh, insisting uh, the colleges to conduct flipped uh, classroom learning. We'll be using the conventional type of uh, uh, teaching and it, in one side, and the other side we will be moving to, moving on with flipped uh, you know class. I mean, flipped learning probably using online uh, tools and techniques. So, uh, whenever you know, when we are considering any sector, any sector, the education sector. When I was just uh, when I was uh, when I was uh, preparing for this FDP, I was just thinking about different sectors. You know, education sector, the food sector. You know, uh, you know, things have got really changed. You know, we have uh, started preparing our food in our home itself. You know, we have started preparing cake. You know, uh, you know everything we are preparing at our home. Even you know when when we are speaking about the transportation, uh, you know hyperloop hyperloop is coming into us. You know recently we have heard the news of uh, uh, what is that space tourism that has been impl implemented by Virgin Galactic. 
Virgin Atlantic, probably by you know Richard Branson. You know, uh, space tourism. He is actually promoting the space tourism. You know, I think if if we have uh, enough money with us, then we can very well pay the amount and we can have a trip to space and we can come back <laughs> seriously. So you know, some miracles are you know happening uh, when we are considering theater. Uh, OTT releases are there. Uh, OTT releases are there. Driving theaters are there. Probably in uh, in Kochi and uh, in in Kochi, we could see some driving theaters in uh, Le Meridian and all. They have started driving theaters, and uh, you know things have got really changed when we are considering tourism. Uh, you know they are they are using actually this augmented reality method uh, as well as virtual reality method to to showcase their uh, you know luxurious uh, uh, rooms and amenities and facilities. So you know. Things are going. I hope that things are going in the right track, even even though we have uh, lost a number of lives. All right. So we will move on to it. So our our concern is that how to impart human values in education. You know, I believe that in ed in education we have got two phases. One is that the material materialistic facts that we have to always go through. And when we are considering uh, uh, when we are imparting education, probably he should get a job. Uh, he should be technical, you know. He, he should be good in, uh, you know, technical aspects. He should be much good in programming skills, and so that he can very well grab a job in the industry. So that's a, a, a part. You know, he should score good marks. Probably he should be uh, first in the entrance exam, and uh, uh, he should he should be very thorough with the English language. So these are the material facts that I can consider. And the other fact, the other side is uh, nothing but the values, the human values, the moral values, the ethical values. Uh, how we, he deal with people, how he socializes, and how he can motivate with others. How sincere he is towards towards his job. You know uh, how he is actually how responsible he is. You know what about the responsible freedom that is he enjoying? You know what about the uh, the character? Obviously the character. So we are moving on to the uh, the topic. You know uh, the first thing is that according to the father of our nation, uh, uh, our Mahatma Gandhi. You know, one one beautiful quote that I, I have come across. It is nothing but if wealth is lost, nothing is lost. Probably if wealth is not, according to him, wealth is not lost. Nothing is lost. Probably if health is lost, something is lost. If character is lost, everything is lost. I think the best of all things is character, and this character actually comes under values, human values, probably. Whenever we, you know, take training sessions for students in colleges as well as schools, we used to speak about attitude, attitude, character, attitude, etiquette, manners, and all. You know, what is this attitude? Attitude means what we think, what we feel, and how we act and how we live our life. You know, why I'm speaking much about this attitude? This attitude is much connected with your body language. That means your action. You know, if a person is really sad at his mind, probably he will be showing it through his face. Probably, yeah. If if some sometimes he if he's not listening to the lecture, probably he will be folding his hands. So the thing is that through body language, he is actually reflecting his mind even. You know, so these kind of things, I think the students are lacking these kind of virtues or these kind of values in hall. Hall. When we are considering, uh, you know, the, the 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 you know, when we are comparing these two aspects, these two phases. First one is the values, and second one is the materialistic fact or material facts that we go behind. Actually, when we are considering these two, there is a big imbalance. I must say, there is a big imbalance. You know, it is moving in a high pace, and we are not actually uh, we are not actually looking for the human values. We are not uh, actually in trying to inculcate. Uh, uh, human values in i mean into the student community probably even me even me whenever i i am speaking uh, you know whenever i am speaking about uh, some you know interview skin training at all i used to, i i used to give stress for you know how to tackle the interviewer you know uh, how how you can really drive the interviewer towards your you know your you know your, your point of contact probably you know that's the thing that that i even used to concentrate probably so the other side, we don't we don't speak about sincerity. You know, we always speak about how to tackle that interviewer. We don't speak about in, you know uh, integrity or empathy or something like that. You know, I think that's that's quite lacking nowadays. So uh, so this is the this is the you know proverb or chord that is. So values are something that teaches us good virtues, including honesty, truthfulness, kindness, integrity, helpfulness, helpfulness, compassion, love. What more? Everything. Everything. 
So these are the values I must say. So I, I think I think we, we will move on to a. I will stop sharing right now and uh, uh, you know, one second. Okay, I will stop sharing right now and uh, I just look at my face. Just look at my face. Uh, probably you people will be. Uh, probably you people will be, will be much interested in uh, hearing some. Uh, what is that? Hearing some stories. So you know, I, I think this face-to-face -face interaction, interaction. Whenever I, I really want you people to see my presentation, I will, I will, I will surely, you know, uh, you know, share my screen probably. All right. So we will, we will move on to a, we will move on to a story. You know why this, uh, why this, why we have to give much importance uh, to the values in our life. We will start with the story. You know, once a well-known speaker. A well-known speaker. He was actually speaking to to uh, a set of employees in the company, and uh, he started off his seminar by holding a you know two thousand rupee currency note in the room, uh, and he just asked them, "Who would like to have this two thousand rupees currency note?" <laughs> so it's it's, a, it's not a big deal, you know. Uh, if if somebody is asking like that, probably we will we will also raise our hands. You know, almost all the hands started going up. Everyone. Everyone started, you know, raising their hands. I mean, saying that they need that two thousand rupees currency note. Yes, he he was okay with that. He said, "All right, I am going to give this uh, two thousand rupees to one of you." But but the thing is that first, uh, I will do one thing. You know, let me do one thing. Yeah, he proceeded and he crumpled this two thousand rupee currency note, uh, and uh, it has you know uh, literally it it has got destroyed probably. And he then again asked, "Who still wants it? Who wants this?" Still, almost all hands were up in the air. <laughs> Everyone were raising uh, their hands. Again, you know, he did one thing. You know, well, he replied, "Yeah, I, I will give it to you. That's fine. But I, I'm going to do one more thing to this uh, uh, this particular uh, you know currency note." And he he dropped it on the ground and started to grind it into the floor with his shoe. He grinded it with his shoe. probably you know he picked it up and again crumpled and again asked them still uh, how many of you want this i think still the hands were up in the air still the hands were up in the air so the thing is that i was coming to a point that you know sometimes in our life when we are uh, you know moving on towards i mean with our life probably sometimes you will be irritated sometimes you will be crumpled Uh, sometimes you will be humiliated sometimes you will be out of the job sometimes you will be fired and sometimes you will uh, you you won't be uh, much satisfied with the attitude with the i mean attitude of, of the students probably you will be in trouble sometimes but still uh, your values will be there probably your values will be there i think this these values are been inculcated to you uh, from your parents even and uh, through the college life the school life the teachers the peer pressure everything is been contributing much towards uh, the value the value aspect in your life so that's it so you know it's quite important i was i was just saying the point you know uh, it is quite important you know i, I will i will come into the next uh, next point and i will share the screen again all right and that screen so one second one second please wait for a while uh, i hope that it's it's clear right now okay we will move on to the next next one why human values are important see when we are considering this thing you know, why why human values are are important you know the thing is that value education you know it shapes one's life i was just thinking about yeah, thinking about it when i was writing this particular point you know it, it shapes one's life how it shapes one's life probably how it alex, changed on alex sir your screen is not uh, not One second. full all right, all right. condition mode yeah in between I, i am forgetting to enlarge the screen that's the problem now I, i hope that hope it is clear now i uh, know it's fine now it's all fine right, all yeah sorry sir sorry sir all right so how it changed one life you know the thing is that uh, actually uh, when we are considering you know before itself we have uh, shared that particular point you know there are two phases right one is the value aspect the other is that actually the material aspects you know the marks the score uh, the job you know academic excellence and all so it should go hand in hand probably it should be you know mutually uh, benefited you know both these things should should go in go or hand in hand probably so the second point is that need for value you know you know the thing is that this value education should be imparted to almost all the classes of life parents 
children, you know, from even school children, I mean, school days, you know, even teachers, since we are witnessing a lot of problems nowadays, a lot of behavioral disorders, you know, lack of unity in the society. We are, you know, the, the, the new generation is actually getting separated with respect to the caste, color, creed, you know, even state. I, I was just wondering to, you know, now now we will move on to a particular uh, particular discussion so that hope that you people will be also contributing much towards this. All right. You know, these days, these days, probably the uh, the faculty members from Kerala would be annoying. These days we are hearing a lot of bad news in Kerala. I don't know about the rest of uh, the states of our country, but, you know, we are facing we are hearing a lot of news. You know, last week, I mean, two years back, uh, we could see that around five ladies, you know, five ma married women have committed suicide, have committed suicide. And last days, we could see, we could see a number of, uh, you know, a number of homicides, you know, a number of, you know, you know these things are happening. It, it, it is quite, quite disturbing too. It's quite disturbing too. To many behavioral problems. You know, yesterday, I was, I was really sad to hear that one of the students, one of, uh, I think uh, he's just a, uh, a 12th standard student or something like that. You know, he's just 18 years old, 15 years old. He has committed suicide, you know, after being addicted with uh, a game. Probably you would have, you would have, probably you would have read that news. So what's happening all around? You know, the, the, the news are quite, quite disturbing. So what's, what's your opinion? What, what is the core reason for all these things happening around? Yes, can, can anybody please uh, turn on your mic and uh, give your view probably, please. If that, that's the thing, it, it, let's start interacting with each other through this. Come on. If you, are, if you are really okay with this, if you are really comfortable with the same, you can very well turn on your mic. And if possible, if, if you really want to turn on your camera, you can very well do that uh, and uh, share your experiences or share your views regarding this. All right, please, ma'am. Anyway, yeah, yes, ma'am. Sir, uh, first of all, <laughs> you named me a talkative. I am not talkative. <laughs> <laughs> Ma'am, take it in the positive sense. You know, <laughs> teachers are to be talkative always. You know, I will assume you are talkative here, right? <laughs> yes, okay. ma'am. Okay, you are accepted. I, I, I think, yes, ma'am, you are the mischievous person in this group, I must say. That's great. That's great. You know, yeah, you, during you, my student days, I missed all this mischievous. Right, I yeah. was in the first bench studying, studying, going to library and class. The, uh, here and there, uh, when our uh, students um, are left free, my, my friends used to tell yeah. that Avayar will be sitting in Avayar. Avayar will be sitting either in yeah. library or in classroom like that. All right. <laughs> so you have missed everything in your school life and college life and now you are doing all sort of galatas as you are a teacher. <laughs> <laughs> so now this FTP I am using and Ebisar has uh, graciously permitted for that. <laughs> right ma'am. That's, that's quite fine. You know, you know, you are quite unique. That's, that's the reason that I have called you right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you stand Thank unique, you. that's the thing. All right. Thank you, sir. <laughs> so, sir, actually, yeah. in my observation, I yeah. am also a social worker, professionally, sure. professional social worker. Super. I have completed a MSW and PhD in social work only. Great, great. That specialization. Yeah. From my observation, what I understand is, this younger generation is not uh, ready to accept any failures. Exactly, probably. Yeah. First yeah. of all, if they come across any failure, they are brought in a such a way that they are single children. Yeah. In a family, they are single child and uh, everything is centered around the decisions of family is centered around them. If they want only the decision will be yes. Yeah. If they don't want the decision will be no. So okay. generally in family's atmosphere, they are not given any exposure to failures or no. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. So, so if they are always uh, experienced with yes, 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 then they come across one single no, that becomes a great disappointment. Exactly. So that leads to a number of um, uh, wrong decisions. Super. Like if, you, if I say I love you, if you deny me, then I am starting killing you. Yeah, exactly. I am putting acid on your face. I am trying to rape you. I am trying to put you in some trouble. And enjoying the trouble. Yes, this kind of the tendency the youth are developed, sir. Super. Even I am worried how we are they are going to establish the society and in a smaller scale, yes. their family. That is yes. the biggest problem. 
exactly. I don't know. Exactly. And uh, I, I think, I think you, in this context, the role of educators as well as the role of the uh, role of teachers, family, it's really, yeah. it's really, you know, it's, it's a big deal actually. I think. Yeah. Yes, thank sir. You, yes, thank sir. you, thank you, Jaisree, ma'am, for your sir. good contribution. Janaki Anand, ma'am, I think uh, you are blinking your uh, mic. Uh, on and off janaki anand ma'am do you have hello no no i yes. i am uh, happily saying that i am happened to be a classmate of jayshree for more associate with more than 27 years <laughs> oh, so, no you now you people are celebrating your reunion oh, no we have got the got two people in the game right <laughs> yeah, <laughs> two yeah, people yeah. in the game yes, sir. <laughs> all right because, yeah because uh, i because i never wanted to go to library Uh-huh. uh huh so you will be sitting at the classroom and jaisri ma'am will be i mean running towards the library right no 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 i'll be roaming <laughs> around the campus she'll be in the library <laughs> <laughs> all right all right <laughs> okay uh, janaki ma'am uh yeah anyway we, in, we anyway used, the whole class they used to get notes only from jaisri oh, so we were having all 27 uh, library cards at that time <laughs> so bob so bob mm-hmm. so janaki ma'am anyhow you have switched on your mics now give 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 us some input regarding the the problem that we were discussing actually as a as jayeshree said uh, the single child uh, mostly most of the parents are uh, the whole family is revolving around uh, based on the child yeah exactly i totally agree with jayeshree but so we are we are giving time, everything they want you know they are in the comfort zone probably yeah all right Uh, but when i come across my students in the social work department yeah. most of the students are okay with that uh, right. only in the present generation now uh, the zen z or like that yeah i think i think uh, you know when we are going down you know uh, past 5 to 10 or uh, when we go that probably you know people my students were uh, really okay mm. with such failures and all you know i was just thinking about it. thank you janaki ma'am for your contribution okay. you know i was just just thinking about you know uh, so we have got an input like jaisri ma'am and Jan- janaki ma'am were telling that you know student i mean uh, the, the kids are not really uh, ready to face the failures you know uh, they they are uh, they are you know they are ha- finding it very difficult to uh, i mean move towards the, i mean move through that such phases so i was just thinking about the mass media or social media or even the the news channels you know last last week when i was uh, you know constantly hearing this uh, sad news of uh, you know suicides uh, that too in uh, i mean starting in the in the the, the other end the, the, i mean uh, from trivandrum alapura and all i think around the 6 to 7 ladies uh, committed suicide and they all professionally well placed some were doctors some were post graduates and you know it it was a series actually you know i was just wondering what it why it is happening like this why you know what what is happening uh, i mean uh, in, in our younger generation you know i just googled you know what is the reason for this uh, this thing you know in a series of suicide you know i just came across a particular word probably uh, sometimes you would also have heard but i'm really happy to give that input right now you know i have come across a word called uh, suicide contagion copycat suicide you know actually uh, the i will explain it to you probably you would be knowing what it is but the suicide contagion is nothing but uh, when a, a girl when a, when a person is committing suicide uh, due to some problems due to some uh, you know family issues or dowry or something like that probably the the media is sensationalizing the same uh, in high amplitude you know they are, they are giving series of news they are you know discussing about these things and uh, they have got some empathy yes we need that empathy you know those uh, you know diseased should have some empathy you know uh, you know we, we, we will be providing with them an empathy and uh, the, the the other one the, the other end the person who is actually the cause for this uh, suicide he is being tarnished and he is uh, you know he is actually you know he is just like so you know these things are happening so the problem is that the media is sensationalizing the the whole process uh, uh, in an aspect we can see that uh, in 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 some aspect the media is sometimes uh, justifying the those act you know we feel really sad about them but the problem is that if another person with similar mind and attitude who is actually facing similar problems like just like that probably he or she will be getting a motivation to do the same so that is what is called suicide contagion then the problem is that a series of you know uh, you know suicides will happen it is not quite new in our country 
you know it has happened uh, you know even in london uk and all you know there Mer merlin montro probably uh, you would be knowing uh, her merlin montro you know merlin montro when uh, uh, she she committed suicide she was uh, when she was you know suicide probably you know a series of suicides uh, happened happened there in uh, sri lanka it has happened we don't know whether it is actually a suicide contagion or not but it's a serious thing that should be uh, i mean that should be addressed probably social media yeah somebody has uh, uh, given yeah uh, social media like youtube tiktok yeah obviously man so the, th the key thing is that not only the parents not only the 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 students you know media is also uh, contributing a lot towards this uh, you know uh, you know disastrous effect probably so these things are to be you know are always kept to be you know in, in our mind online gaming too yeah these days we have uh, uh, heard that news you know the, the the kids are getting addicted towards this Kid, kids are getting addicted towards this games and uh, the 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 gaming officials probably the software the the online game software will be uh, will be you know forcing these guys to do some special activities and to pay money and he will be he will be you know he is addicted towards that and uh, probably he will be trying to overcome that problem and sometimes if proper guidance is not available probably he is committing suicide well, you know it's a disaster I, I really you know i have i have got two kids i have got two boys one is 6 year old and the other one is 3 years old you know i was i used to think how i am going to up, you know bring bring up them you know what all things that i should provide with them you know whether i should give them tablets or whether i should whether i should restrict them from uh, giving them tra tablet you know we don't have a decision obviously so yeah we will move on to the next next part probably yeah one second please again i'm going to share the screen yeah all right uh, yeah okay I, I am enlarging it so value education you know uh, it actually understand our needs and it gives a goal the thing is that the same thing that hand in hand and it also helps remove our confusions and contradictions you know i was i was just uh, uh, you know thinking about certain uh, you know happenings uh, that has happened these, these days in kerala you know uh, a, a film movie called saras saras probably the persons from kerala would be knowing a movie called saras as a, uh, released that you know last week and uh, that movie actually tells about uh, a, a girl a woman who has got married and she is having some dreams of her own and she wanted to become a filmmaker and uh, and in between she i mean uh, you know uh, she is going to you know uh, see she 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 is getting a baby baby and uh, i mean uh, she is trying to you know the, the the end of the story is that uh, the the thing is that it has justified abortion you know actually the the rule rule actually justifies the same process but the problem is that we have got two opinions so what sort of measure or what sort of uh, you know message is being received by the students if they have got a superb definite defined value system then they can very well desired uh, you know decisions of their own otherwise the thing is that if they are moving i mean seeing some movies or if they are, i mean reading some uh, you know very provoking books or something like that probably they will be they will be moving in that way so that's the thing all right so what is this intrinsic values and extrinsic values when we are dividing these values into two we can see that there are two there are two kinds of values that is first one is intrinsic value and second one is extrinsic value the intrinsic value i was really excited or i was really surprised to uh, know the meaning of this intrinsic value is nothing but you know it has been uh, you know to 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 an extent it's hereditary probably it's through it's through gene yeah it, it it has you know it is actually you know getting uh, from your parents probably yes family obviously family the family so these are the intrinsic values and the extrinsic value is nothing but the values the, these people are getting when 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 they are in the college when they are in the school when they are uh, with their peer members when they are with their colleagues uh, and the corporate sector so intrinsic as well as extrinsic values i think it, it is having 50 50 uh, per day so what is this individual values just look up at the look the look at the you know the, these things now we are going to discuss three values first one is individual value then uh, relationship values and the last one is societal values now we are going to deal with it now we can you can very well uh, look at me and uh, you can very well you know we are moving on to 
we are moving on to the different value system or different values. First one is individual values. See, individual value means uh, uh, it actually reflect how you show up in your life. You know, how, uh, how far you are interacting with you probably. Uh, you know, your internal kind of thing, your enthusiasm probably, the creativity, the, the personal fulfillment and how happy you are, <laughs> how happy you are. And uh, there are some issues too, you know, sometimes we will be facing some constraints. Someone said or did something that you strongly disagreed with, but you didn't speak up and you have uh, a frustrated mind in you. You know, you will, you will find, uh, uh, you know, a problem with your individual values. You have set some goals. You really want to become a social worker or you really want to become a scientist in ISRO and your father wanted you to become an engineer and, and you you have followed your father's uh, decision and you have become an engineer. But the problem is that you are not still enjoying your job. Yes, you have been affected by individual values. Your life, your career have been worked out well. And you really wanted to become, you know, uh, you know, some other person. Yeah. What you want often clashes with what you have got. You know, you have been, uh, you know, you have got some imagination uh, about your, uh, uh, you, your husband or your wife, and uh, you know, you are not able to adjust or adapt to the new person, to the person that you have got married up. You are so busy pleasing other people, other people. You are busy pleasing other people. You are not doing the things what your uh, your mind uh, really uh, used to say to you. Yeah. So in these cases, you know, the thing is that when we are thinking uh, it, it in, in our context, probably you can very well relate the problem that is being faced by the students. Even whenever I used to give training for the student community, the students are always, you know, they always stress the same point. Whenever if I am taking some sessions for engineering graduate students, the you know, students used to say, sir, this is not my cup of tea. I don't have. The skills which is uh, you know uh, very much needed for engineers. I am actually a person who uh, who is much interested in creativity. I really wanted to become an artist, but unfortunately, I have reached this place. So uh, I I have uh, you know I have wondered, and he, probably the thing is that he will be doing his fourth uh, year of engineering, and all these three years he have kept mum, and he has found the right person to share his problem, and he has uh, you know you know started speaking with me. Yeah, the problem is that uh, the the you know then we cannot really uh, you know, move back or we cannot really discontinue the course and move back for the artist course. The problem is that you know you know they don't have good listeners. I must say, they don't have good listeners when we are considering higher education at all, eleventh, twelfth standard or not. I mean, uh, if, if whenever you, if you are getting some chance to hear those guys, please do hear them. Probably I have seen a number of persons who are facing the, facing similar problems in their life. They don't want this uh, particular course, you know. The problem is that their skills are not complementing the courses that they are actually doing. So, you know, the value system has got disrupted. So, the problem is that they will become really problematic. You know, they want uh, experience happiness. They won't really live their life. So, they will be irritating others. They will be a, a social nuisance probably. So they will be moving on to some other, uh, you know, things like drugs or, you know, you know, alcohol or something like that. So I think this this value or the proper input is being given to these type of people. Probably he will be on track. He will be on track. He can uh, he can very well enjoy his life. So the, the question is that what's important in your life? If you, if, if you could have any career without, you know, without worrying about money, you know, go ahead with that. You know, the, this thing should be addressed, I think, as, as far as we are concerned, as far as we faculties are concerned, probably I, I used to say when, whenever I am taking some uh, online teaching training or teaching training, probably I used to tell them, if, if your period is, your class is for around 45 minutes, I mean, speak about the subject for 30 minutes. Speak about the subject for 30 minutes. And for five minutes, just speak about the applications of what we have taught already. So they can relate it with, yeah. And next 10 minutes, try to speak about the world. Try to speak about the skills. Try to speak about the happenings on the world. You know, try to speak about, uh, you know, the requirements of employ, you know, employers or the happenings in the world. So that's the thing that we have to keep in mind. Yeah. So 
it is all about so i think the individual value should be inculcated from the beginning the enthusiasm their creativity uh, you know humility personal fulfillment and how happy they are and what about their interpersonal skills and how they are motivating others and how sincere they are they are and at, at the end of the day they should have a satisfied life they should be satisfied with the you know you know the the happenings the, you know the whole day probably probably uh, he will have some fulfill, fulfillment at the end of the day so he will be satisfied and then you don't have to rely on uh, you know other weird things so that's about the individual values the second one is nothing but relationship values relationship how he is actually dealing with people you know how he is interacting with others how he is actually speaking with teachers what about the peer pressure relationship values include everything like openness trust then uh, you know motivating others then caring empathy generosity a lot more companionship companionship you know respect for others companionship is quite essential for uh, you know uh, you know you know for being a friend probably it's built of friendship and grown by affection connection and even fellowship probably and we should have some quality time easily okay when we are considering our you know couples we should have some quality time with our spouses probably so that we can hear last uh, week i was i was uh, you know traveling uh, to coimbatore and one of my friends uh, was actually uh, with me he was actually driving the car and i was i was in the rear seat and uh, you know a, a phone came a phone came you know his phone rang and uh, he put it in the bluetooth loudspeaker and i could hear that his wife asking him you know uh, yes ma'am yesterday we have been uh, you know communicated well we have been communicated well. you know i i was really surprised and i was really happy to hear that you know so he was he was just telling you know yesterday i was quite busy so i could not really communicate uh, you know well with her and early morning he has uh, accompanied me, me uh, in traveling to kondu so see some things are really good i think you know some quality time if you are providing it them with the quality time probably the things will be uh, i think uh, you know the uh, the going well probably and the second one is nothing but the respect that we are giving to the other point other person yeah i am i am i am moving uh, i shall move bit fast empathy vulnerability yeah vulnerability and how you know how we are dealing with it. accountability accountability and obviously trust trust you know uh, probably if you have trust with each other if you have trust trust with your partner probably uh, you can have a common god you can have a common god if you don't have trust between each other probably you cannot achieve that god probably so trust it's a, it's a beautiful thing communication so i was you know that's about about the relationship values and how about the organizational values how about socializing with your or i am mean, an organizational member how about motivating with others sincerity factor you know growth teamwork productivity and uh, how strategic you are and how you are uh, you know communicating with others yes these all things are you know matter of concern that is the organizational value and the final one is societal values societal see uh, i was i was just uh, sorry i was just thinking that you all are some faculty members in some reputed engineering colleges or uh, you you all belong to the uh, probably to the teaching community or research community and all probably uh, you know uh, you know along with your uh, teaching along with your uh, you know teaching prof profession you would be doing a lot of research uh, academic research academic uh, writings and all yes how about thinking about you know uh, you know whenever uh, whenever i think about some research or research related activities i used to think you know how it can be used by our community probably how it can be used by indians how it can be very much applied in our schools in our colleges that's all about the sustainable engineering sustainable engineering and how uh, how your uh, product has uh, made a balance in the ecology in the ecology and how committed you are towards the society how committed you are towards the society how conscious you are about the environment how conscious you are about the environment how you are dealing with the, the environment the you know the technological advancement and technological things should happen uh, in our daily life or in our curriculum or i mean in our academic level but it it should not disrupt the balance of life yes balance of life i think these values can be inculcated or it can be imparted to students in a large extent in the classroom probably in the classroom probably 
you know the thing is that uh, whenever we are sticking on to the you know the the core topics and all it, it won't be working out probably take some time to speak about such things take some time to speak about some social issues take some time to speak about uh, their uh, their skills their opinion sometimes you could you could probably hear some weird opinions from their side and try to correct them if possible try to correct them if possible probably they won't accept those points from you at the same time probably they will you know go home and they will be thinking about the same point and sometimes they will uh, have a change in mind probably you know since uh, uh, those uh, kind of you know those age is quite rebellious and they will have their own ego uh, probably they won't accept things easily but the things will be you know they are, they are really good in uh, you know analyzing things they will keep it in their mind and probably they will whenever they are getting some times i mean some time probably he, they will be thinking about uh, such things and they will make up their mind according to that so that's the thing that we will have to give the, you know we will have to move on with so that's all so uh, so we were actually speaking about uh, different values that come across the the societal values the relationship values the individual values i i i would really want to add one more point in individual values the, the problem is that we were actually we have to talk about uh, uh, the the skill uh, com, you know how these skills are complementing their job and how far you know they are being uh, you know uh, you know decide you know uh, how their careers and everything is been decided by their parents you know i think uh, we have a lot to do uh, regarding that regarding that whenever i am speaking about the skills and uh, you know complementing the skills with your uh, uh, career and all i used to uh, you know give a word i used to define a word like herd mentality herd mentality i think that that that's uh, you know it's a, it's a big deal with uh, you know we indians we always follow this herd mentality it's here the herd mentality if one person is actually joining for nursing you know if that particular industry is in its boom you know we have got a lot of opportunity probably everyone will be joining that particular course and after that you know uh, so, somebody you know after that you know uh, i think in 2000 and 2000 uh, starting of 2000 uh, probably we could see a number of nursing colleges and a number of nurses coming out and after that it was it was actually the turn for engineering everybody 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 joined for engineering you know probably they won't be good in maths or something like that but they still uh, you know wanted to join for engineering and uh, miserably they are failing almost all the subjects and they are no more in engineering and the problem is that he is actually waste, wasting his four years and he is uh, uh, in a in a great confusion he won't be enjoying his life probably so a problem like that a problem like that so i think uh, uh, a person a student or uh, you know uh, should know what he is actually he should be able to define himself yeah. you know what all strong points i have in what all aspects i am really uh, i have got some weaknesses and in what all points i have got i have got the weaknesses so i have to eliminate such weaknesses and i have i have to concentrate on my positive uh, things and i have to move on i think this is the problem that is being faced by the younger generation these days and they are confused and they are perplexed and uh, they are uh, finding it very difficult to live their life happily so they are uh, moving on to some other uh, some other problems i know now i am again uh, i am again share, trying to share my screen yeah sejal chopra yeah. yes so i yes. would like to share something on what you spoke great ma'am uh, thank you ma'am so uh, so currently we are in uh, i am teaching in an engineering college and as Super. you said these values could be you know Uh, uh built upon or you know taken care of when you said you are in classroom speaking to them yeah but my observation and my experience uh, in the past 10 years is that uh, uh these uh, values develop when you are basically outside the class with them yeah. working for different competitions maybe you are working for some cultural events exactly. or maybe some sports events or so, anything when when you are out on the field with them yeah exactly so, uh, that that is the time when they are also uh, you know natural uh, like in nature uh, w- w- what they are they come out or turn out to be like that yeah exactly and you are also yourself when you are outside the class so Super. generally when you step in the class you know that you have to maintain that uh, you know a uh, uh, distance of being a tutor and a student yeah. but then when you are out on a cultural uh, function 
you may also enjoy you may also be a part of the enthusiasm and uh, that actually brings on more closer to these younger generation yes. where they can show you their real face exactly. they can talk about their strengths they can yeah. talk about their weaknesses to you yeah it it becomes very uh, easy going process when you are out with them yes so exactly. uh, so what uh, i have personally felt is in the classroom it does not work out Okay. But yes, when you are out with them for you know maybe field trips or anything like that. Okay. It it gives you a better chance to build on these values. And exactly. as one one of the participants mentions, uh, had mentioned here, we have like a, a teacher mentors also. All right. Uh, in most of the colleges, that okay. also plays an important role when each student has a mentor for the same mentor for uh, next four years. Yes. Over a period of time, the student knows he has to communicate his uh, problems exactly. to a particular tutor exactly. or a particular mentor. Yeah. So that is my experience with respect to how the values could be built upon. So. Of course, of course. Uh, yeah. The 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 the, the point is that uh, uh, the colleges should have a number of cultural events, extracurricular activities, uh, like club functions. You know, nature club. you know they they should get some chance to interact with each other you know so that they will be of you i mean themselves right is that the point that you were actually you know pointing out sajal chopra ma yes yes sir and that right, is exactly. actually where they would uh, be themselves with exactly. us exactly exactly the now i think that this problem is quite serious uh, since the the students are not able to socialize uh, among themselves since uh, they are in the online mode so still the problem is there We, we we won't be able to i think we won't be able to mitigate this problem in the near future yeah <laughs> all right thank you for the contribution sajal chopra ma'am so if anybody have any contribution or if anybody have some inputs regarding this particular point, i mean point that we were discussing actually kindly turn on your mic and speak now we, we are really eager to hear you so that we will be we will be you know getting a number of points you know in addition to that we will be getting a number of points here sir one more point i yes, would sir. like to add us yes the value system that we are inculcating in their minds uh, during their childhood uh, yes. always depends on what they are seeing in the parents and uh, their up upbringers yes super maybe uh, children uh, children look on the learn from the ch- parents no parents are of uh, uh, money mindedness yeah. their value also goes to money exactly and uh, yeah and if we are uh, relationship oriented like leaders uh, different types of leaders we say no task yeah. oriented people oriented like the yeah. parents also are supposed to be uh, models super if super we are, yeah we are uh, we just left bother about the children and go for uh, our workings uh, go to foreign countries and be there for years and leave the children with somebody else exactly. where there is no uh, they, they they don't get the actual sense of um, uh, parenthood all that all right sometimes yes, uh, it is worst to see children calling their servants as mummy and uh, uh, mother <laughs> as amma all right exactly, exactly. <laughs> that kind of feeling the parent could is uh, totally missing there so yes, that, yes, that yes. when they are understanding oh money is important than daughter or son that's exactly. what they understand yes. and uh, in the same context on the other side children if they are money minded and no. they are uh, very much uh, um, uncared about the values and they want to earn money by any means yeah so they the greed for money makes them do anything yeah exactly exactly that is also one reason where the, this kind of uh, tendencies are uncontrollable even exactly. anybody who is telling about relationship is important if it is not a parent or someone who is close they don't yeah. mind Exactly. you are talking some nonsense what you are talking to me yes. this exactly. is not important i know what is important in my life that kind yes. of tendency they develop yeah exactly super thank you ma'am thank you thanks a lot yeah so uh, uh thank you jc ma'am for that info uh, it is also you know it's, it's a matter of concern that we have to uh, consider all right i will again share the screen we will uh, move on to the next part yes one second so societal values we have uh, spoken all right so now uh, we are going to discuss what you have you, what you have discussed now the causes for moral degradation among youth what all are the causes you know i have i have uh, taken taken some general points i am 
uh, I'm not going uh, into deep uh, in each and every point since uh, we have we had a discussion of, on on this probably. You know, the first thing is that parental behavior. Parental be so. First of all, we will take uh, uh, one, two, and three. Parental behavior, peer pressure, and mass media. And after that, we will uh, move on with the uh, education system. You know, uh, what about this uh, parental? Uh, you know, parental parent parent responsibility. And parental behavior, just like uh, Jesse Ma'am, just like uh, uh, Ma'am Paul, you know, uh, parents play an important and dynamic role in the personality development of their kids. Probably, they are actually imitating us. I must say, you know, my kid used to imitate uh, imitate me, my style of walk, my style of uh, hand movements. You know, uh, if I, you know, my style of dress code, he always want he wanted to drive like me. I mean, ride ride the car just like me. You know. Actually, we are not just, you know, we are more than a role model, I must say. We are, we, are, we are just like heroes for them. Yes. So parallel behavior affects the child's personality, character. And uh, to an extent, it is also responsible of developing moral values. Sometimes the problem is that the working parents, we cannot really, uh, I mean, speak ill about them. But, uh, but still, the fact is fact. Sometimes the working parents sometimes fail to inculcate discipline in their children and they are not actually giving some emotional support and sometimes they fail to give some emotional attention to them even me sometimes i fail to give some them some emotional attention and uh, probably in order to overcome that problem what they are doing is that uh, whenever these kids are uh, putting so, uh, forward some demands Probably they will be just, uh, I mean, uh, buying it for them, and uh, you know, and uh, you know, temporarily they will be solving that particular issue. The 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 main problem some comes when that means the control of the parents has been decreasing these days. So the the child will be having an autonomous life of their own. Sometimes they will be going for some part-time jobs and all. It's all good, but you know, uh, you know, they are out of the control of the uh, parents. The problem is that some external forces will be will be will be trying to have the control uh, of the of these kids sometimes they will be uh, they will be diverting their mind you know the the, the fa family system is something really which is much great which is a, which is a holistic approach when uh, Indians are concerned actually our culture is concerned actually you know our family system the how our family values our family bondage you know everything is quite unique and uh, uh, I think we are losing such kind of uh, culture these days. So the, the problem is that the students are out of the control. So somebody, uh, he should actually rely on it. He, he should actually, uh, you know, share his, his problems or experience with somebody. So there comes the role of peer pressure. I mean, peer members, their, their friends probably, their friends. So, so there lies the problem. So they will be having some uh, similar interest. So the peer group and this child will be having similar interest. They will be having same age, background, and sometimes the social status will be also same. These members of this group are likely to influence the person's uh, uh, probably belief and behavior. And peer, peer groups play an important role in socialization. So they're having, the, having an upper control, a great control on them. So the problem is that their concepts, their conce concepts will be sometimes the stronger one, the person who is having more command over the group, the person who is having some more, uh, you know, you know, uh, you know, fear, some uh, somebody who is having much uh, leadership quality, negative leadership quality. Probably he will be, you know, he will be uh, trying to lead this group and he will be inculcating his ideas to all the members of the group. I think someone's uh, mic has got turned on. Please uh, kindly please turn it off. Please thank you. Wow. So peer groups play a vital role in developing the concept of you know probably the moral values. So the problem is that when they are getting associated, the problem is that they are just like a mob. Sometimes bribery, uh, sometimes decoys, uh, sometimes kidnapping. You know sometimes they will be associating uh, you know for uh, drug uh, drug usage or you know the 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 sexual uh, sexual input or the sexual uh, you know, lessons also being, you know, taken from the wrong hands. So that 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 causes some, uh, you know, uh, that really mislead these guys. 
So that's the second problem. So first one is the parental behavior. You know how far they are contributing towards uh, the the student's life, and uh, how about the moral values of them? And second one is obviously when when that side is weakening, probably the 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 control will be obviously moved into the influence of the uh, probably the peer group. So that's the thing. And uh, obviously, we were actually I am moving on to the next topic. I mean, uh, next point that is the influence of mass media, social media, obviously. Mass media is the most important and popular means, probably. You know, the general public usually relies on the mass media to provide information. Uh, you know, political issues, entertainment, news, everything. I think these guys are are taking. You know, are getting influenced by these things. So mass media. You know, they really imitate. You know, if they don't have a person to imitate in their family, if 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 his father is not giving him a role model, if or you know he doesn't think that he is uh, is my hero or something like that, then probably he will be following. You know, I know some uh, some kids who are blindly following the lives of celebrities. They will just walk like them. They will they will just dress up like them. They will uh, they will try to have the gadgets uh, that their celebrities used to. I mean. So there lies again a different problem. So they will be relying, and these things, you know, they will be developing this culture, uh, you know, throughout their life. And uh, whenever they are uh, reaching the youth, probably he will he will be trying everything, the, everything that he is. So the 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 major thing is that he is out of the family then. So there lies the next problem, and after that, many more problems are there. Obviously, the education system. I must I must move on to the next topic. That is education system. i cannot say that our education is, system is quite defective but the thing is that uh, i think there is some uh, problem with uh, unification process unification it is not i think there is some problem with us you know synchronizing the education system in different states and all you know we have got a number of commissions like kothari commission was there and ramamurthy commission that to be 1990 and ramamurthy Com commission in 1990 they he has actually stressed education must must further provide a climate for nurture of values and we have uh, now we are moving on with uh, moving on to you know national education policy and they do have a number of points on on that the main aim of education that the problem is that we have got a number of colleges we have got a number of institutions and the main aim of the institutions probably sometimes uh, they are, they are lo losing that 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 the objective probably sometimes the, the students students are always moving on to uh, i mean uh, grab good marks good uh, admission good placements and all so there there are some conflict is there so sometimes we are uh, you know pointing much towards the examination point of view and uh, it is not actually a value center it, it will be just like an examination center so we cannot just we cannot blame blindly the uh, the education system that is uh, existing in our, our education is one of the best in the world but the problem is that i think some modification should be carried out uh, in that aspect too and uh, uh, probably the the next point is nothing but uh, Uh, i am moving on to the next point that is nothing but identity crisis and desire for self self exhibition identity crisis i think we have discussed that point uh, you know earlier identity crisis is there you know i used to ask uh, you know students whenever i am giving some training for students i used to ask them you know uh, what you are can you define yourself in a in a word in a word in a word you have to describe yourself sometimes students you know find it very difficult to uh, you know coin a word for themselves you know the thing is that you know the the in psychology the t term identity crisis it is actually coined by eric erickson and it means that the failure uh, to achieve ego identity during adolescence failure to achieve ego identity during adolescence it's a, it's a bit of psychology i think i think so the thing is that ado adolescents therefore forms their self image and endure to endure the task of resolving the crisis of their basic ego identity so they will be using that 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 identity of their own uh, in order to solve their the, their kinds of problem so they will be analyzing issues they will be involved in almost all the social issues they will be they will be having some uh, view good view points they can rationalize things that they they have got a number of questions in their in their mind and they rebel they struggle and they uh, they revolt but the thing is that the the thing you know which is dealing i mean leading them is actually the ego identity of their own 
we are not able to provide them the right identity obviously we are not the person we are not the culprits you know these i mean students are have not developed their own uh, you know self identity so they are finding it very difficult uh, to solve such problems using their identity you know they are they are losing their mind to uh, you know find the right decision uh, to find the right solution and to uh, to find the uh, to give the viewpoints right viewpoints since uh, the egoistic mentality is actually uh, you know leading them uh, eventually i think this is one of the major problem that these guys are facing again again desire of self ex self exhibition self exhibition i think uh, the students are moving on to some immoral behavior just to exhibit themselves they don't really want to smoke they don't want to uh, really want to destroy their uh, you know body they don't want to drink actually they don't want to deliver abusing words they don't want to quarrel quarrel they don't want to you know uh, they want to uh, really want to abuse anybody the problem is that uh, they think that they think that doing such things make them really you know some heroes or the, this problem of self exhibition why this self exhibition is occurring why the self exhibition is occurring probably the personality disorder sometimes the the self knowledge you know they don't they don't know about themselves so th there comes the problem with the self exhibitionism so have i have moved with you know parallel behavior and uh, we were actually speaking about the influence of mass media and we were actually speaking about uh, the peer pressure probably and the education system we have also spoke, spoken about the education system and uh, to the last we have spoken about uh, the identity crisis and decide for uh, these things and obviously the economic economic challenges are there economic change you know the world economy is moving very fast we will have we, we are not able to cope up with the changes that is happening in the uh, in the in the world the gadgets the facilities that i mean so an imbalance is there in the economic aspect too you know uh, when my kid is actually seeing a, a high end or a sophisticated toy with another person who is uh, residing in the you know residing in the next house probably he will be finding it very difficult to content himself with his his kind of things so unfavorable atmosphere it, it, it is there so there some problems are there so they will be trying to catch up their uh, kind of stuffs and they will be moving on to you know you know earn more money sometimes uh, through part time job or sometimes they will be demanding their parents to you know get them such kind of thing so some economic changes are there so economic imbalance imbalance is there obviously the last point gender bias you know it's it's a much debatable point but i cannot really i skip that particular point the gender bias some some you know even though we are very sophisticated we are we are we are very advanced kind of people but still gender bias is there you know a set of standards uh, given for uh, you know boys and uh, another set of standards given for girls you know sometimes unnecessary freedom are being given to uh, are being given to boys and uh, uh, and it make them think that they are superior and can do whatever they want <laughs> you know uh, my my wife uh, she is uh, her name is asha meri george asha asha she is also a, 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 you know she was also working in an engineering college and now nowadays she is actually doing a course she wanted to teach you know kids actually she she is having that desire to teach kids uh, so she wanted to teach you know it's such a, a, a different desire i would say yeah, her ambition you know when i am getting you know I, i am married to her she was actually working in an engineering college and uh, after that she got fed up with you know i don't know why she got really fed up with uh, you know the teaching in an engineering college so, so i mean she took a leave uh, when uh, we, she was carrying um, uh, you know our kids so after that uh, i asked her uh, asha whether you really want to go back to engineering college or whether you want to do some course or something like that so she was undoubtedly she was telling that i don't want to go to engineering college again i want to teach uh, you know uh, small kids i want to teach small kids like lp or up student so i was not against to it you know uh, let her decide you know if that is her you know interest okay let it should be done it should be done so uh, you know she joined immediately she joined uh, uh, probably i don't know whether you will be knowing that particular course ttc teachers training course dlt that is diploma in elementary education that is actually a two years course uh, uh, for joining call i mean schools for teaching lp and up students you know uh, the thing is that you know uh, when she she is uh, uh, actually you know uh, joining that particular uh, you know say, sector you know i mean she could find she could find 
a number of friends that too in the 12th standard or or now now she is 34 i mean 32 and she is now communicating with uh, uh, the 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 girls i mean it's a women's college <laughs> you know that's a mistake that i have done uh, and it's a women's college and women's college and she's actually in fact she she's her classmates is just 12th standard students i could see this gender biasing there uh, you know it, you know big problem with gender biasing gender biasing i could see that uh, you know uh, my 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 wife's friend one of her friends uh, she's having a younger boy am i younger sorry not younger boy younger brother and uh, the thing is that at 10 o'clock her father used to grab her phone but not of younger brother's phone injustice oh my god so i think you know you know for simple reasons even uh, you know uh, these biasing is there in our land you know how educated we are how literate we are you know how uh, you know how developed we are how far we have gone still this thing is happening is is happening around the globe so gender biasing i think uh, we have got a number of lady teachers women you know lady teachers uh, here so i think i think uh, you know somebody can give a give some input towards the gender bias either you can speak speak about the personal experience or you can very well speak about some experience that you would have heard in your class or college come on ma'am somebody somebody please i mean please be open you can very well turn on me you can be very free since uh, it, it is the last uh, session and this is the probably tomorrow you have some exam that's it so you can be very free and you can very well open your open up your mind and you can you know feel free to speak something on it what about the gentle bias come on man come on anybody well, otherwise i will have to call some names oh my god it's really bad jesse man you can, i think you can very well start with <laughs> sir then you will at last say you only talk you don't allow no, no, no. to talk. I, won't, I won't i won't tell it <laughs> i won't tell this you know i you know okay. in, in a class no, no. we always used to call the mischievous person first so it's not a big deal <laughs> you can be okay. proud about it you can be proud about it you know see, okay. i am i am i am calling you again and again since i will be getting some good input from you that's the that's the whole reason that i am calling you sir you know something 3 months back i delivered a lecture in a youth yes. club narayana guru youth club coimbatore college there yeah. what topic i talked about you know men empowerment oh my god <laughs> that's cool that's cool <laughs> so what men are thinking about their empowerment is something which is misunderstood oh my god <laughs> i think the yeah. the, the whole thing has changed yeah men Uh, yeah men those who think uh, women should do these things men should do these things should go out and see what women can do yeah. <laughs> that is what i started with uh, so what we are trying to do here is in the social strata i don't blame the social strata socialization and the system of society but biologically also that is a problem sir okay biologically also women are with some uh, hormones of uh, love affection and the soft feelings and men are with some hormones of hard and uh, efficient and uh, hardest feelings right. the, but the brain and the biological system god has given like that oh. so that part of uh, <laughs> that part of uh, discrimination we can't deny that is a truth that we have to accept right, ma'am ma i think okay. sonia sonia Bap babu sir he ha he is having some uh, some super yeah, content sorry about yeah. come on come on sir sir are you there so, so sonia papu sir are you there sir if not let me give you one example oh, yeah exactly exactly you can you can okay. continue now okay sir when i was uh, carrying my daughter Yeah. one of my uh, colleague has already delivered baby twins okay uh -huh. Uh -huh. in the twins symmetrical asymmetrical twins one is boy another one is a uh, girl both okay. uh, twins were only one and a half years old sir the children yes. they came they came to our house and when we were in the first floor the boy was a uh, very studious stupendous and he is going to the main door and trying to step out of the door okay. but this girl no the same age but because she is girl she behaved like feminine she behaved like a loving character sir he is going behind that uh, boy and going front to him and pulling her uh, from uh, outside to inside okay. like that uh, he behaved then i was wondering madam what is it happening this is girl 
and that is why and they are typically behaving like at the gender orientation okay, okay. see man is going <laughs> going and uh, trying to run out of the house the girl is going behind and pulling the boy inside see <laughs> in the uh, can you imagine in one and a half years this girl by gender identification the role is played there i was wondering the yes. same happens in all the stages sir Super, super. That, yeah. and uh, even uh, recently one of my uh, colleague was uh, sharing his experience uh -huh. he also has one uh, son and uh, daughter yeah. he bought one um, this exercise machine wherein yeah. we have to go back and front back and front when yeah. we go back the child a girl child is crying because it thought the uh, father is falling down and the boy <laughs> is telling go back go back i am in interestingly enjoying why you are not going back okay. like this Yeah, the tendencies are in the mind itself, sir. Exactly, exactly, <laughs> so exactly. most of those part we can't correct. We can't correct. It is there. Yeah. It is the nature. It, it's there yeah. in there. Yeah. All right. Thank you, ma'am. Yes. Now uh, we are moving on to you know you know the solutions. We I will I will wind it up within uh, five five to six minutes. Uh, since I know that you people will be listening the sessions even I mean from the I mean uh, from the morning itself. All right. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, so what about the what about the approaches that we can. Uh, go for uh, in order to inculcate in order to provide them with uh, enough values the first one is nothing but classroom learning activities probably uh, obviously we have uh, we have discussed that particular point even sajal chopra ma'am has also contributed a lot towards that you know in some courses it won't be that possible but in in in, in some of the you know very general uh, you know much, not much you know sometimes in social work or uh, uh, similar In, in such similar courses, you, these kind of classroom learning activities can be can be. Sometimes you can share the biography. Sometimes the stories, extracts from you know essays, articles, classics, and you, know, you know parables, proverbs, uh, uh, even poems, and uh, you know classroom incidents and conflicts. We can discuss about it. It's a, it's an approach. And the second approach is nothing but a practical activities method. you know pro these these things are there in our uh, you know in our education system but still i was just explain it again you know i i was it you know if you are getting some extra points that would be great you know a school campus classroom maintenance activities sometimes you know that 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 uh, that process actually gives a sense of uh, a uh, unity association and all and probably you know social forestry some used to have the social forestry or community development activities and uh, then we can go for some work experience related activities you know people students really enjoy such kind of things and uh, they will have a feeling that all right we, we are getting associated we are a social being and we will have to rely on each and every one so so that we can develop this thing so organizing campaigns uh, or literacy on literacy either on literacy or gender uh, equality or environment awareness or something it's so these kind of things you know yoga meditation and prayer section sessions can be carried out so that uh, you know practical activities methods can be and the third one is nothing but socialized techniques you know this is just uh, you know thing that has been uh, carried out my fa father you know long back you know he was actually the uh, the prog he was he, you know he is a retired professor from an from a college and now still is working in the capacity of principal in a college in kerala the thing is that you know when he was working in the in the college uh, when he was working in the capacity of you know professor in a college in an aided college you know he uh, you know national service scheme program officer and he i i still remember Uh, he used to you know get gather all the students of his uh, national service scheme and uh, uh, they used to play some dramas some street plays some other art forms uh, they will be united and they will be designing the all, all these things and they will be uh, writing the script they will be uh, you know giving i mean uh, preparing the songs composing songs and uh, uh, they will be moving on to some streets you know uh, some streets uh, in and around kerala in some cities in kerala and they will be playing these dramas which gives much uh, you know what much uh, uh, what is that awareness about aids and all the thing is that the the the, the other aspect is that uh, awareness is being given but at the same time uh, uh, you know an association is been getting carried out you know students are associating they are unified uh, they are together they will have a feeling of uh, oneness and all so that's it so we have discussed a lot of points you know uh, unfortunately the time is 5:35 uh, we have discussed a lot of things like uh, value education how to value 
uh, how to inculcate or how to impart values in education system even though it's a, it's a tough job since we are not actually dealing with moral moral uh, science or uh, you know moral values or moral science in our core subjects but uh, still even though if you are able to if you are able to connect or relate uh, your technology kind of things or your subject related things with uh, moral aspects uh, i mean if you, if we can really relate it with the moral aspects or moral values or ethical values probably uh, the the things can go in in a different way in a positive way so thanks a lot for listening me and thanks a lot for your contribution all these uh, all these uh, time and uh, you you are really best you are you have really contributed good points i know that when when i was taking a session for teachers it's it's not that it's not a big deal since if you are raising a point and if you are calling uh, then probably they will they will provide much more uh, uh, important points uh, other than me so i think uh, i think you have done a great job thank you everyone for associating with me and uh, i hope that you had a great time uh, you have got some input regarding these things uh, thanks a lot abhi sir over to you thank you ah uh, sir 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 i am here sir yeah oh it was a beautiful session that's a great session and uh, right now the time is 5:36 i think you have yeah. already crossed on another 6 minutes exactly 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 <laughs> beautiful interaction also yeah. was there uh, between members and uh, this is a great thing i mean the great or great opportunity yeah and uh, thank you so much sir thank you so thank much you, thank you sir thank you for, thank your, you for the call thank for you for the invitation and all and uh, i thank all the participants who are here for joining the particular session and uh,